So in part four, I'm going to focus on a very tried and tested set of Latin rhythm patterns, which we know as the claves. And uh, you'll find that every musician tends to practice this very, very hard, especially percussionists or anyone looking to improve their rhythmic chops. So claves make rhythm a lot more exciting because they add a lot of these accents and syncopated phrases which you otherwise don't find in perhaps classical music or other styles of music. So one clave which we'll try to perhaps work on is maybe this one. Ta, 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 ta. This is also what we call as a song clave. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and uh, so those are the hit points and you need to basically get those hit points while you play your major scale. So what was once will now be So you need to feel that division of four as the claves are on the one e and a two e and a grid. So that'll be one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So if you can divide your system into four units and play over that. Of course you have to breathe. So go a bit slow because you're thinking of so many divisions, right? So don't worry if it sounds slow. It doesn't feel less groovy when you play slow. So it's okay to play at this speed. In fact, it's great to play at a slow speed. it somewhere I guess I don't know when this thing is going to resolve it so it really becomes a nice way to hold as I've been saying in this tutorial series hold your shape you know the major scale going up and down hold your shape but bring in more things while you work out the scale like apart from just the fingers just think of the rhythm think of what the harmony is doing and just Enjoy what you're doing even more as opposed to just mechanically going up and down with the purpose of just becoming a better pianist. I think if you focus a bit more on the music, the piano playing will automatically happen or whatever instrument you play will automatically happen. So the clave again, ta, 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 ta. Well, you could auto, uh, modify the claves. You have other claves like the rumba clave or the bossa nova clave. Like, uh, for example, ta. Ta, 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 da, ta, 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 used a lot in EDM music, I guess. So you go. Right? That rhythm. A lot of these electronic dance songs. Okay, so that's about the clave. So practice your major scales, ascending and descending, keeping the flavor of the clave going while you play and perhaps also being able to hold the pulse in the left hand if you're a pianist keep that steady pulse going and that will also really test your independence you have to now figure out this scale holding the shape there you'll also have to figure out a way to keep this hand running strong and then later on you can look at moving with harmony changing chords and actually making a scale going up and down into a melody, an actual melody which you could just present to people. If you haven't already, do turn on the bell icon for regular notifications. Subscribe if you haven't already to our channel and do share the video and the channel to all your musician friends. And now, if you have the energy, head over to part 5 right now. See you there.